So last time um, you got in a fight with a bunch of orcs and you had defeated them. They were all knocked out. And then one of your party that you were on the road with, a dwarf named Throderick, oh, yeah. went around pretty much executing them as they'd fallen. Apart yeah. from two, there was two orcs left, uh, one of which Alanthea had befriended and discovered that they were out looking for slaves for a mine, which was about five miles east of where you are now. Um, as we left it, you had just let a female orc up off the ground and Alanthea had said, by the way, that dwarf's trying to kill you. Um, I was going to say, I remember physically moving Throderick out of the way, but that's all I remember. Yeah, I, I think our video <laughs> may have cut out a little bit early, because when I watched it back, the last thing was the orc trying to headbutt you, Mercer, and then heading off towards Throderick. So, you've still got a knocked out orc on the ground, and you've got Throderick and this orc squaring up. Um, unless anybody wants to intervene, I'm going to say that Throderick kills her. Having the advantage of a weapon. I'm fine with that. She has a weapon too though. She picked her thing up, didn't she? She did pick or up did the scimitar. Uh, you took it. Yeah, you took the scimitar. So she was on I her like, way. I remember I tried to grab it, but I remember. Yeah, them. so she is weaponless okay. and also wounded. So I think Throderick's going to have the jump on her. I... Unless anybody wants to intervene. Um, I feel like you're wanting us to intervene. I feel like you're leading us towards an intervention. Uh, no. What well, the information that we needed? Not at all. I'm I feel like she's to... going to keep going until either she dies or one of us dies. We're so just going to let nature take its course. Okay. <laughs> so no others? Okay. So... Yeah. Um, You're busy looking at my cool weapon now. Throderick runs her through and she slumps to the ground and you still have a knocked out orc on the ground, which Throderick is heading towards with the intention of decapitating. Are we letting nature take its course? Well, can we just yeah. do a mercy killing? Are you going to do it th first? I feel, I feel like letting nature take it. If he's prepared to do it, like, just let him do it. He's already killed, like, all of the rest of them. He's, he's five orcs down at the moment. Yeah? Okay. So, he hates yeah. orcs. If this is what makes him feel better. He's not a happy Not really, because we don't need somebody who's prone to just murdering everybody that we fight, because, like, mm. we needed information and he nearly ruined that for us. So, um, yeah, he's decapitated that orc as well. What would you guys like to do? Can we go on our merry way? You can. Um, Throderick's currently rifling through orc pockets. Can I keep the scimitar? You can. You can, if you Nick. wish, keep. Right. Add it to my, I don't have any more rooms in my weapons. You could yeah, potentially have six scimitars if you wish. You could also have six shields and six sets of light armor. I would like a scimitar and a shield, please. I've already got a set of light armor. Does having two help me or does it just weigh me down because I'm a team would, of time? Yeah, it would weigh you down. It's, it's one set of armor or the other, to be honest. Can I pick up all my little bits of slingshot? You certainly can. Yeah, you're back up to full complement. Marvellous. Is there anything cool that they've got that we can take that might be handy? Other than the armour and the scimitars, there are 18 hunting spears amongst them. How big is a hunting compared to a hobbit? A uh, hobbit, it would probably stand... Um, just above your head height, I would say. Oh, okay. Well, I am going to take a shield. 
I'll take two. I'm gonna take a heal. Right, so we're taking... How many shields? I'm I'm having a shield. Um, You've got one, haven't you? Charles is taking a shield. Oh, a magical shield. And a scimitar. And so, I'm taking two, two scimitars, two shields. And two hunting spears for me, one in each. Two hunting spears. Okay. Two scimitars, two shields, and two hunting spears. Is the shield just um, oh. one protection? Uh, yeah, it's plus one. Yeah, so it will stop Any one point of damage. movement penalty on it? No, no, you're fine awesome. with that. Um, there is also... Okay, so amongst them you find 144 ducats. Okay. Awesome. Somebody do the math. 144. 144. We get 28 yeah. each and then four in the party fund. Quick maths. Oh, calculator. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being honest. Miggy, can you calculate 177 plus 28 for me? Just a second, I'm just doing mine. <laughs> Five. Your altogether fund is now 1,206 ducats. Nice. I could get a new spell. Can you? Cool. I have, I have enough ducats. You have to go and see. I don't know what my last total was. Hmm. You need to keep hmm. circles in. I have it written down, but I have two different numbers written down. Which one is I can't remember which was most recent. The highest one is 148. I could go from there. Because <laughs> that's similar to what mine was. Money I, I paid for some training, so mine went down a bit. I have. Okay, guys. So, is everybody happy with looting and sorted money out? Um, um, what would you like to do now? Should we go on our merry way again? Sure. On our way to... Uh, yeah, continue on that path that we were on before we were ambushed. Ambushed, so... Gonna but not really ambushed, because we totally knew it was an ambush, so we weren't even surprised. You weren't surprised, no. You knew it was I surprised. didn't even pee my pants, so... Is it an ambush? <laughs> you seem awfully confident about that, Ezra. I think you actually said, well, we're going to get ambushed, so let's just carry on. But we were mildly outraged. <laughs> you were a little bit outraged. Okay, so you're heading on your merry way. Um, and you head on your merry way. This confrontation took a bit of time out of your journey. So as you continue, nothing else really happens. Um, you just pass trees. You see that in the distance, the landscape is becoming more mountainous and you start to see a few lakes here and there, um, ponds, that kind of thing. But it does start to get dark. And as it's getting darker, Reeve says to Throdrick and you guys, I think we should stop here. Uh, we're not gonna get there before daylight. Uh, or before, before nightfall, I should say. So, he suggests making camp. Mm -hmm. We should go off the track a bit. He agrees and That's says that would be a good idea. Um, We're going to set up fire, we should probably go off the track quite a ways. Yeah, there is a I small sort make of a fire. Spinning. You can make a fire? I'm so good at setting things on fire. <laughs> it's true, yeah. You're it's very one good. of my primary skills. Okay, so would you like to describe yet. how you're making your fire? Charles? I, I get really close 
and then I shoot my fireball spell. I know, that's it. I stack some wood first. Yeah. In a sort of teepee shape. Wood in a teepee shape. Surround it with little rocks. Mm -hmm. Some dried leaves. Yeah. And then I shoot my fireball spell at it. And it ignites, and you have a fire. Um, Throderick and Reeve sort of search around and find a bit of firewood here and there so that you've got plenty full supply. Um, everybody kind of, well, Reeve and Throderick kind of bed down. They've kind of got their stuff there. Um, they just sat chatting. Um, what do you guys want to do? We need to set up a watch. We need to set up a watch in turns. Mm -hmm. I want to explore the woods. Okay. I'll take the first shift with someone. Of course you do. We know that there's no more orcs because the orcs told us. Ooh. Is, is there anything else that we think will be in the woods or that any of us might know will be in the woods? Or are we just like hoping that there's nothing? Uh, you could make, you could all make intelligence Hello, checks or knowledge checks. Can I look for tracks? Can I look for tracks? You can. Um, you. I pass my knowledge. Hi, right, Tom. Um, so you don't see any tracks other than wild animals around, um, sort of deer and rabbits, that sort of can thing. Can we catch some of those for the pot? You can certainly try. Um, Ooh, it's good. Oh, I can craft stuff. Okay, so what are you like intending to craft, Hagen? Oh, like a, like an like an animal trap, so that we can you know snare them, gut them, chuck them on a fire. Cooking. Okay, so with um, Mercer's help, you do discover an animal trail, um, and you do set up a snare uh, overnight. So. Um, we got to the point where was Hayden to Charles about was going to go and have a chat with Charles, yeah. Okay, and Charles, quoting Shakespeare, says... Charles, oh, help me out, I've already seriously. forgotten. Parting uh, is such please. sweet sorrow. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Mm. And Hagen, <laughs> a pragmatic mind, says... A new hair parting. Get a grip, there's plenty more fish in the sea, let's go. <laughs> what, yeah, what's I think that about covers it. What's happened? Where's, where's, where, where's, where's that other wench gone? <laughs> wench? Yeah, well, you can insult you her all you like wench, now. You are a wench and you've just said wench. <laughs> you can insult her all you like now, go for it. Where's, 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 um... <laughs> because yeah, that hesitation makes me nervous, maybe don't go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Kiana gone then? That is a she very left. good question. She's left. Why is she left? You like just yeah. I just wordlessly hand the note. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm already making plans to like track oh. her down. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, oh. Well, how much money did she kill? Take? Hey, at least you can go out with Max now. Took ten, uh, ten, ten ducats. And has anyone has anyone checked for the tablet pieces? Ooh, no. Quick. I don't think she could have made off with things that like. Big Are you checking? Yeah, we well, saw her before she left. Um, tablet pieces are. Uh, I'm sure woke up, but Charles is sobbing. So. <laughs> still there. On the Thanks. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. She has just, from what you can tell, taken 10 ducats. Uh, Alanthea puts a hand on Charles's shoulder and says, Oh, I'm very sorry. I'm so sorry. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, on we go. Yeah. Um, just, just, um, because I, for some reason, I just can't remember anything ever. Is there anyone in particular that we know that would know a lot about the whole snogra thing? Uh, your best bet. Is probably Max. Um, yeah, he's probably the most educated person you know at the moment. Certainly has a library of books. 
well, we're heading towards the island. We, 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 do we go past? We do go past Groblet, don't we? No, we? Groblet's, Groblet's yeah. the other direction. You're heading south west yeah. at the moment. Groblet's out east. Are we going to head to this party then? Yeah, party. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so. Yeah. You, you never know. Charles might get lucky. It'll cheer him up. Let's go. You oh, never know. Uh, you, you pack up and you head off and you're walking for a couple of hours when you do see um, a large glittering lake in front of you and on the edge of that lake is a small shack and what love shack. to be, yeah, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've got to be a car. <laughs> It's as big as a whale. This guy's <laughs> got him a boat. It's as big as a rowing boat. Um, and it's sitting on the lake. What would you like to do? Set it on fire. That'll make you feel better, Charles. <laughs> Please don't set it on fire. Completely derail the campaign. How many, set how it on many, fire. How many people would fit ow, in the ow. Uh, your party can get in there. Oh, what? I was what did you just you accidentally that? staple yourself? Don't play with staplers. Oh my god. <laughs> Muppet. <laughs> Stupid stapler. Ow, 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 ow. That's not a real stapler. Unless you've stapled your finger with a real stapler, you uh, stapled it. <laughs> I literally had a clunk and a scream. I was like, oh, is he okay? Are you all right, Tom? I'm all right, yeah. Oh, my gosh, we've got the two drama queens over in the corner. <laughs> anyway, carry on, sorry. Wait, I am I the other one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's yes. a juvenile. Oh, oh, my days. Get yourself a plaster and stop whining. I stapled my fingers together once. Or what the hell? I accidentally stapled my hand with the wall stapler, and those things are vicious. A pet. <laughs> oh yeah, they are. Yeah. They? I got it right, but I got it right into like the soft bits of both of these I to open mean... it. Oh. Okay. So I put my fingers like this. I was just looking at you had the opposite it. fingers. I'm like, how did you staple? This? And you managed to actually I press staple it down. It. And staple my fingers together. Sounds like something my dad would do. Outstanding. Yeah, so his thumb has healed very yeah, well. This boat. He had a big yeah, this bone. Yeah, on the down here because he. It's uh, kind of a wooden affair. Can, uh, can I say mm. the boat? Can we not walk around the lake? How big is this lake? Are we talking lake? Me? <laughs> well, <laughs> you could definitely walk around the lake, but it won't help you get into the island in the middle of it. <laughs> Can we just walk through the lake? I missed that bit. Okay. I mean, you'll get a nice view of the island from all sides, but... Lovely, lovely. How far away, how big is the gap between where we are and the island? How creepy does the shack look? It doesn't look that creepy. It's it pretty dilapidated, but the guy outside, it seems reasonably friendly. Um, he looks like... Charles, old, reckless with misery, salt. approaches. Does she? <laughs> P. <laughs> okay, and what does Charles Reckless with Misery say to said bloke? Excuse me. Sorrow. Sorrow. <laughs> God. I really need to get to the island over there. And the bloke says, You're right. Oh. oh. <laughs> And he puts an arm around you and says, There, there, boy. Don't touch me! Oh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> me. He right. just got dumped by his fiance. <laughs> oh, right. I expect you'll be wanting to go to the island, right? Yeah. Yes. Please. Yes, please. What's on the island? What's on the island? Well, there's been oh, an house. That makes it sound like we're not supposed to be here, Hagen. <laughs> We're on our way to a party, remember? Uh, yeah. You'll be wanting to go to Ben and Island then. Yeah. Yes. What, what happens over there? Well, there's a, a big, big house, isn't there? Who owns the house? 
Well, apparently some bloke called Sir Dowid, is that? Yeah, Sir Dowid. But I've never heard of him. All oh, right. Do you, do you tend to bring the people back that you send that's over there? Do they come back on the boat or not? <laughs> that's a good, well, good question. <laughs> these are the first people I've taken out there. Oh, what have you been doing up to now? I keep doing bees instead of bees. Well, you know, there's a few game in that round there, and I do a bit of fishing. <laughs> Okay. So there's been no one else going on their way to a party. Yeah, yeah. Can I? loads of Can people I have been going. Oh, okay. Oh, for a minute, what I thought it was a like trick. On their way to the party, what do they look like? And also, how oh, really not making it sound like we're supposed to be here. <laughs> how do you know it's Sir Dawid if you've never heard of him? Well, they were saying <laughs> oh Sir Dawid when I when I took him over. There was a well, there was an orbit. Um, <gasps> they are understandable. They are. <laughs> understandable. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was uh, some foreign bird. Um, oh, what did she say her name was? Some day or something. No, no, it wasn't Kiana. It was um, ah, oh, Dame, Dame something. It sounded like she come from way out east. Um, Ah, oh, sorry, I can't French? remember her name. It was her. Um, there was some old boy who, uh, in armour. Um, some yeoman or something from somewhere. Who else? Um, <laughs> how many, how, is this all happened today or has it been over the last few days? Because we wouldn't. Yeah, no, no. Um, they they were here last night, so they went over. Oh yeah, there was a couple of um, couple of people come a few days back. Uh, Mister and Mrs. Ger Geronim, that was it. Geronim. Geronim. Okay, Mister and Mrs. Geronim. Really. Okay. I feel like we're being set up for like a Dungeons and Dragons game of Cluedo. <laughs> that would be exciting. And. Um, well, and and do you and and so would we be able to get across? Oh yeah, oh, I can take you. Ah. Okay. Awesome. Lovely, lovely. lovely. How and how do we summon you to get back, my good man? Well, I comes every day because I um I set up with Mister and Missus Jeronim that I can bring you oh. some food. So I bring fresh stuff. Bit of game in that. Yeah, nice. good enough for me. You're big into your game, aren't you? Yeah. There's not much else to do, to be fair. You should really open up uh, somewhere for people to be able to eat before they go over. Maybe a game bar. Game bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would love it if someone would just take me to a game bar, game bar. <laughs> <laughs> what, a game bar? Game bar, game bar. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll take my Minotaur friend to the game bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's already been. Yeah. <laughs> he's here every week. <laughs> oh, I do the best. I'll wait to look back at these notes later and be like, well, what the hell are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's one page of game bar, game bar, game bar. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. What were they called? Geronim. Chief Fags. Okay. Well, yes, if you'd like to take us across. I assume there's nothing else for us to see here, is there? Out of, out of um, metagaming? Uh, not unless you like game. I've got loads of game. Did I mention that? I've got some game. <laughs> He got game. How about a nice rabbit? Oh, by the way, um, Hagen, when you track checked your snare in the morning, <laughs> could you please make a? Hmm, I'm going to say a persuasion check to see whether you've got anything. Persuasion. Persuade the animals talking. Don't kill my trap. Waiting for the spinner to end. No. Okay, so the rabbits outwitted you and your trap. I am outraged. Um, 
and you have an this extra. is an outrage nice <laughs> Sorry. there's a skill to setting them i guess well yes nice. you might have to persuade and charm those rabbits to strangle themselves oh, no, my dice. <laughs> kill yourself i couldn't think of another appropriate challenge to be honest for that would it not be like wildlife like, have we got like a nature challenge or something or uh no not really you've got right uh, knowledge, agility access, craft fighting knowledge perception persuasion shooting I speed <laughs> i want Quite ezra you. to pick up a hobby something he can do in the evenings when we're like gathered around the fire and stuff like like I was thinking taxidermy, but that's just because it's a real life interest. And well, you know, so you can take else. the pelts yeah, of the stuff the we kill for dinner, put it away for left. dig and get some clay to make the body form, and salt the pelts so it, it doesn't go all gross, and then you can just coat it, get some beads for the eyes, but sew it all up, and you've got a taxidermy rabbit. It and doesn't can... sound like a hobby that you can take on the move. You yeah. totally could, if you had a freezer bag. <laughs> <laughs> or salt boxes. You can maybe, have boxes um, of salt for all the pelts. Maybe you could buy what you need in Oldford the next time you're there. Do you remember how I to pull the rope, rope, by the way? A pit to pull the rope. That okay, was leaving. everyone's rope, so that would have been awful. Uh, okay. And now Ezra can do macrame. To get on the boat. To get on you boat. can sit on the boat. Okay. Boat. So, um, the. Uh, we have eight minutes left. Let's get up to the party. The <laughs> guy <laughs> rows you across, and when you reach the other side, you can see it's. Um, he rows you into a rocky shore, but around the outside, uh, the oh, island wow. is pretty much cliff face, fairly vertical. Uh, and in the middle, you can see a grand kind of timber looking house. I would like to just, as we're rowing in, can I just make a note now that I've taken an idea of roughly whether it's sheer drop into nice deep water or sheer drop onto rocks? Um, some areas are sheer drop into reasonably deep water. Some areas are sheer drop onto rock. Okay, right. Can't do the James Bond thing then. Well, you can in some places, but yeah. others probably just less. Kind of guess which one. Probably could, but like only once. Yeah. <laughs> it's not yeah. the falling that kills you. Possibly uh, not advisable. I'm so uh, funny. I was thinking more Zoolander too. Is there anything else we need to ask him before we carry on that would help us? Uh, oh yeah. What was the, uh, what, uh, and so these people that you've already taken across, this as we've been going across, I'm assuming we've had a bit of a conversation. Uh, what sort of um, mentality did they seem to have? Did they seem to be, uh, you know, did you get any feeling from them? They weren't, you know, were they friendly folk? Well, I think I might imagine that the Obit was brilliant. Um, well, I think I'd go okay. to Did they say when they expected to be coming back from this party? Did they say anything more about the party? Because obviously we've been invited, but, you know, it's nice to know that everyone else has got the same um, ideas about this party. Well, it was a bit of a mystery. I mean, they knew they was going, but they, they had no idea how long they'd be. I said I'd be there every day, so, you know, what whenever time they want to. What time? Well, I get there first thing, because Mr. and Mrs. Jeronin, they need their food. Uh, what food do they like? Game. Game. Okay. <laughs> There's not an awful lot else, to be honest. I mean, I've got a dog, so he takes a bit of milk over, but that's Mr. about it. The boat rider. Um, what, 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 do you know what the moon phase is tonight? The moon phase? Um, yeah. Ooh. Is it a smiley in the face? I think it's that? waxing at the moment. Okay, cool. Do we think they're werewolves? I thought just for a second, loads of people going to the party, not sure when they're going to return. This you Mr. and Mrs. Animals, like to yeah. eat lots of meat and milk, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely heading towards one of those American 80s horror films here. I can see it happening. <laughs> Something isn't right. 
Okay, so as there is a holy no man, one, he knows the supernatural. No one do drugs, no one have sex, and never say I'll be right back. Oh yeah, that's it. Oh, and don't go up the stairs. Oh, yeah. Charles yeah. is suffering through heartbreak, because and therefore I highly likely to do all of those things. <laughs> yeah, well, well. There's going to be the so many rebound did, trip definitely on the at the end of that film, So you'll probably be fine. If you're main character enough, you'll be fine. We just have to we'll nearly die, though. But then you will still win. Well, because that's 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 it. All gets to off because they'll be drinking that long. Really uh, all right, I guess we get off. It didn't cost us anything, did it? No, he was fine to take you across. Oh, thanks, nice buddy. Guy. Okay, yes, let's get to the, let's go inside and see what's happening. Oh yeah. Okay, so you headed up to the door. Yep. Yeah. All right. So you approach this building. We'll do that. Uh, hmm? Um, Alanji suggests, should we subtly, I know this is something that our party isn't particularly good at, but should we subtly just circumvent the per periphery, do a peripheral search? And just so there's another way out. What's going on? Okay. If not, so, outside the house sort of thing, in, in the, in, from the hedgerows or from the trees or whatever. As you wander around the outside of the house, you can see that there are numerous windows. Um, there appears to be steps up either side on the front to what looks like a glorified timber fire escape, really. And it gives you access to the second floor. Is that the only um, access into the building then? No, there's a main door through the middle. Um, there's a couple Can you draw it for us? Could I draw it for you? Not necessarily for now, but for the next one, because we've only got three minutes, but could you draw like what we can see from the outside? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I can do. Um, so the first bit's got this sort of balcony above the top. Um, there are a couple of windows and a door either side. As you walk your way around, you can see another number. There's one, two, three, four, five windows along the... western side around the back you can see that there is another couple of smaller windows and another door so there's access either side of this hall um, on the other side it's the same again you've got five windows over in the front but front and back there is this balcony that you can reach the second floor from okay it's not like a square or rectangular building is it it's rectangular yeah are there any stables about or anything no, nothing you can see. You do notice there are a few log piles outside. Oh, okay. No wicker, no wicker men. Basic. There's no wicker men, no, or wicker rabbits, or wicker game, or anything like that. Did you say wicked game or wicked game? Because that's completely. If Chris Rea is in there, was it Chris Rea? I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> There is no sign of any Stratocaster guitars or Chris Rear. Okay. Uh, well, do you reckon knock on the door then? Yeah, go on. We'll all stand at the front very sheepishly and uh, Lanthony will knock on the door. No, don't look sheepish. Oh, actually, what do you know the what? People we, that are supposed are, to be at the party. I was going to say Thodrick or whatever your name is. Whatever your name is. Um, why don't you knock on the door? Okay. So Throdrick says, Hey, why not? And he walks up to the door and gives it a big old knock. And you hear kind of footsteps approaching the door. The doors swing open. And this dapper looking gentleman uh, with waistcoat, sort of slicked back hair, uh, says, Hello. How can I help you? Oh God! What's I don't say that out loud. Six <laughs> back hair. Are they vampires? So Throdrick says, um, "I can take this." We're here for the party. 